Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. So this is now a thing. Uh, Wednesday Facebook Lives are going to be a thing at five o'clock and they will be until I, you know, know what hockey schedule my other son has. We can always kind of juggle and I'll figure out a day, but I want it to be consistent for all of you. Okay, I'm gonna do one thing right now, don't get mad. I am going to attempt to brighten, there we go, this for you. Okay, now we're all good. I think I've got it the way I want it. And I think I can just, I don't know how to get rid of that now. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we're good. Everybody there? So this is really funny. Well, it's not funny to you because you're like, seriously, want to see the project. Um, we are going to be using, woohoo, the Trick or Tweet stamp set. And no, I don't have a lisp. I know I just said that funny, Trick or Tweet. Um, but it's because this is the name of a stamp set coming out or not coming out. I can't even say that anymore. It's here. So our holiday catalog launched today. <clears throat> so if you don't have it, this is it. Hello, Jane. Now, I want to make a point of telling you what you're going to see me make today when you use this hostess code this week. This is going to be the project that I'm going to mail out to you as a thank you. So you're going to get a little kit. It's going to have all these bits in it and you're going to get to make up your own. So you're going to want to make sure, keep your little list right now. You want trick or tweet. This is definitely something you are wanting to put in this. Okay, let's do this. Now, I have to show you, I'll show you the last thing at the end because what I realized, this is super embarrassing, is I was sure I had everything packed and ready to go here when I came home from the lake this summer, but I left something at the lake. So I'm going to show you a kind of alternative, but you're not going to do that. You'll do what I do. Anyway, whatever, smell or not. Okay, so what we are going to start off with is I find for Halloween, I don't tend to make like a lot of full size big cards. What I tend to make is a lot of three by three cards and I tend to package them all up cute and then put them in with my treats, right? <clears throat> Hello, Laura. Oh, Corey's on. Everybody's on. Steph, yay. Okay, so this is just a three by six inch note card um, that I've made myself, and then it's just scored at three inches. So easy breezy. Now, what you're going to notice is we actually have four of these going on, and I'm sure you can guess why there's four, because there's four super cute little characters in here. Okay, so if you don't have Whisper White card stock, write it down on your list right now, okay? Because you're going to want this. So we have got our four note cards. Next thing that I have got in here is I have got... <coughs> Sorry, this is the leftover cough. I'm not sick. It's that stupid one from the smoke. This is that gorgeous Toil and Trouble designer series paper. So you're going to want to make sure that this one is on your list. You will absolutely love this. And if you bought my cauldron bubble, um, bundle, then you're going to, there was one of the bundles that included this DSP. So don't freak out. You've already got it. Okay. Okay. So next thing we are going to do is I have got a little pile and I have pre-cut all these and kind of got them ready to go. So I have got some designer series papers and I know I had those, but oh, I didn't eat them. Don't worry. They're right here. And each one of these, I'm going to show you the mats, okay? So I have got a mat ready for each card. I'm going to move that off to the side. So we have got a black mat, another black mat. I've got a granny apple green, and I've got a highland heather. Now, the way that I match these up is these two are going to go on to these, and these two are going to go on to these. But I want this the right way because, I don't know, I have issues, and it'll bother me if it's facing the wrong way on you. Okay, so let's get rid of this. I like to get I like to get rid of the bits first. So what we're gonna do is we are going to snail these little bad boys down. So the squares that I have got there are two and three quarter inch mats and then two and five eighths uh, inch pieces of designer series paper. Okay, so nothing complicated and all four are the same, which makes this kind of fun. You don't have to do a ton of thinking. Um, as I have told many people for the past, I don't know, month, I am not a Halloween person. Stampin' Up! has converted me this year. I am now officially a Halloween person. It is so stinking cute. Okay, so we're gonna get these bad boys on. I'm done. Okay. Stuck it down. Sorry, my tongue was sticking out. I could not do two things at once there. Next thing we're going to do is, I might as well put this guy down just to get rid of the bit. So this is our Mango Melody, and this is... A two and a quarter, no, is this one a die? I can't remember, two and a quarter inch circle? It's okay, it'll all be in the instructions that you get with your kit, so don't stress. I'm gonna put you down on there, and then I am going to, on this one, we're gonna glue this guy down. You guys are awfully quiet. Unless it's not scrolling on me, but I don't think it is. I think you're just being really quiet. Don't be quiet, I need you. Talk to me, I need to talk to me. Okay, so we've got those guys. Now these ones, I popped them up, so we're not gonna put them on quite yet. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put out my little white circles 
and I have got um, two two inch white circles. I've got a two and a quarter inch white circle and then I've got a one and three quarter inch circle. Hello, Lisa, yes, I'm live. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna trick or tweet, are you ready? We are going to start off with the elephant and I'm assuming you can tell for this elephant to fit, we gotta go big or we gotta go home, okay? So he is going on the big guy. Now, I'm using my Memento ink pad because I wanna use blends and you guys are gonna have to bear with a little bit of coloring today. Why? Because it makes me happy and I find it soothing and calming. Okay, there's my cute, look at him, seriously, oh my gosh. Okay, but Cindy, you know what I was saying? I would, like with little treats and stuff that you're packaging and putting out, if you're a demonstrator, this is a great way when you've got kids coming through your uh, neighborhood of even letting people know, hey, wait a minute. Um, and they're like, oh my gosh, where did you get that adorable little um, card that you did? And you're like, oh, I sell that stuff. Is this that different from the cauldron one? Yes, this is, okay? So the cauldron one is the one with the witch and the cauldron. And then this is trick or, tw trick or tweet. You have to say it 10 times fast, okay? Um, okay, sorry, I need to keep my Simply Chamois around me for a moment. Okay, next one we're going to do is I'm going to pull my little bird. He's so cute. I'm going to put him on the little block. And then he's the one, obviously, that's going on that one and three quarters. Okay. Stick that one on there. And then my last one is going to be my little putty cat. And we'll go with you on here. Sorry, if I seem like I'm... Oh, okay, I know it's stuffy. I feel fine. I have this, like, leftover cough. Um, I don't feel sick. The first week of school is always a little bit hairy, so if I seem a little, I don't know, scatterbrained, that's all it is. Okay, I'm going to finish all my stamping right now so that we're kind of ready for each step. Now, the next thing I want to do is there, uh, the little sayings. I'm going to use two of them today. I'm going to use Batty for you, and I'm going to use Trick or Tweet. I feel, seriously, I feel like I have a lisp every time I say that. Trick or Tweet. I feel like I'm like a little kid again. Um, Batty for you is first. It goes on this color. Okay, so let's get Batty for you. Batty, or just Batty, one of the two, take your pick. Hello there, Sue. Now, I have to admit, I do like to stamp these first because I find it much easier to get them straight if I have stamped them first versus if I punch out my bits first. And punching out your bits, you know, we all know how that goes. Okay, that one's gonna go in that one. I'm gonna turn it the right way so that I know what it is in a few minutes. Okay, then the other one we've got <clears throat> is just going to be on some Highland Heather. I'm using my Simply Chamois um, off the side. I, I feel really bad. I'm not using my stamp and Scrub anymore. Is anyone else finding that? I love my stamp and Scrub. It's great, but this is so convenient. Okay, trick or tweet. Now, do something please for me. I'm totally casing these, you're so cute, you're adorable. Um, I want you guys to make sure you tuck your little stamps back in your case. I don't want you to do what I do and lose stamps because it is such a headache. Okay, now this one, I'm gonna get you. Okay, and you're gonna go with that. Okay, next. I think that's all my stamping, yes. Can we start to color? Okay, so now you've got to start to keep a list because you're gonna go like, oh my gosh, I need that color or I need that color and I want you to kind of have an idea of what I'm using. So the first one I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with a little bit of my Highland Heather. Okay, so this is one of our new ones. And the only thing I do find, I need to be careful and not put a ton of ink around the eyes and the beak because I don't want it to kind of, you know, bleed into those areas. So I'm gonna go like that. And I give it, I don't know, a lot near the top of the image. Does that make sense? Or at a side, like, I, and I kind of pull it through. Okay, I gotta put away your bits. You totally have to put away your bits. Now, I'm coming in and I've got my light color. So again, if you've been online with me before, what you'll notice is I don't worry about blending to start. I get it shaded in. So this is like my blending lesson for my, what works for me. Everyone works different. You're going to see some people out there that are like magical with these things. That's not me, but I make this work for me. First day of school was awesome. It was one of those ones where you're, you know, I've got amazing kids in my class and there's amazing kids that I would love to still have in my class. It's tough. It's fun though. Okay. So here we're going to just blend you. Look at that. Look at how cute that blends. Okay. Melon Mambo. 
I'm coming in. Now I am gonna use my little paintbrush tip with this one, okay? So I'm gonna go in and because I want it to stay in the lines and I find sometimes if I'm with my thicker end, I find it tough to get into a tight space. So we're just gonna kinda here, here, boop, boop. You guys, it's gonna be a longer Facebook Live today, so please don't feel bad if you can't stay for all of it. I do understand, but I would love for you to see the finished project because it is pretty cute. Okay, so we're gonna get him in. Now this one, I'm absolutely coming in. I'm doing his beak in Melon Mambo. Okay, so that's my adorable little ghost. Now he's gonna be going on to this card. Where's your little punched whoozy wetsy? Oh, there it is, okay. This guy's gonna get this guy. Okay, next one. What have we got? Hot, oh, my sweet little niece just came, and she's coming to help me get ready for my retreat. But she, I've got my husband in the background getting her all organized. Okay, let's grab the puppy, because he's super cute. So with the puppy, we are going to come over here, and we're going to do just the top of his head, just like that. And then we're going to do just that left side I'm going to work on, on him. Oh, somebody just commented. Hang on. I'm coloring my tongues out. I can't color, read, and there. Hello, Natalie. Okay, now we're going to grab our lighter color, okay? Uh, and again, you can use whatever end you're comfortable with. This one I'm using my... This end's a little bit stiffer. I find you can push down with it a bit more. There we go. There. Okay, and then smooth that one out. See, just like that. Super cute. Next one, we're going to do a little bit there. Oh, yeah, Bex, have fun. You're cranking out a lot of Marys, and you just want your colored side facing up. I've got my niece on big shot major cranking. Okay, and so now I'm just going to blend those two together. There we go. Okay, so you got the cute little thing. Now, I went to my soft suede blends for this one. I know, see, Sue, you're like me. I'm not into Halloween either, but this, I, what they did this year kind of got me. Okay, so we're going to come in here. Now, I used my darker of my two um, colors of soft suede, and I used it right away just for, like, nose and whatever, those parts. And then here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through there like this toot toot a little bit off his chest there we go la -la. okay okay so now here we're going to come in we're going to do the face and we're just going to finish this up you guys can talk to me while i'm doing this hi terry how are you terry have your fires calmed down now we're around you or i'm hoping there's none around you Okay, we're just going to do up under his little nose. This guy totally reminds me of my dog. Is that bad? He reminds me, do you remember um, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo? He's a total Scrappy-Doo dog. Okay, there you go. There we go. Get his little chest. Now, here, as you can see again, notice I'm just coloring it. I'm not worrying so much about the blending until I'm in need to borrow your niece for her big shot <laughs> oh yeah seriously my poor niece I've got her cranking for my retreat this weekend she's earning a little money I'm like come help your aunt there's not enough hours in my day right now okay you all good or do you need me show me Is that right? that's absolutely perfect see that was my husband right now was just teaching my niece how to do what we needed her to do I showed him first because she was coming early okay there and again, this one, I'm going to make this whole side dark. Okay, there we go. And here, come in. I wish you could hear the noise. I love it. Is it bad that I love the noise markers make? I can't believe it's already this weekend. I know, Jim, I'm excited. Are you packed up? Have you got your stuff good to go? Okay, so that's, we got those two. Now, you're going to love the cat one. The cat one's a breeze because he actually does not require a heck of a lot of color. <clears throat> hey, you two. Keep it down, Sean McKay. It wasn't you, it's your uncle. Okay, so we have, hello, Scarlett. Sean, you are amazing. Dave is a big shot helper as well. Sean, they're telling you how amazing you are. <laughs> tell ya. Do I have to tell you, you know what he's outside doing right now, Elise? Or he was outside doing before he came in to help Bex? 
he was outside. Oh no, I didn't make his, he's going to have a dangling pumpkin. The other one's not dangling. I'm between Santa Barbara, and no fires near you. Okay, thank gosh, because that was crazy. Okay, so when you stamp your pumpkin on, don't make him dangling from your cat's hand. You want him actually touching it. Now, the cat, I don't want to color him because he's not, like, I, I want it to look, I want to color him, but I don't want to color the bandages, right? So what I did with the bandages is I just came in, and I just did, see what I'm doing here? Just put a little bit on the bandage parts, like this, just to kind of give them a little bit of shading. Does that make sense? You're all good there? Bex, is she okay, honey? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then what I did here was I actually took my crumb cake. And we're going to come in here. And I'm going to give just, I'm not, again, I'm not getting too dark. We're going to put a little bit of crumb cake in here. And he's got some little bits of paws sticking out. But I'm not going to go in with my dark crumb cake marker on those. I'm going to go in with my light. Okay. Am I sticking with the right color? Yeah. Was that crumb cake or did I just grow soft sword? No, it was. It was my dark. Do you ever do things and you're like, I don't know what I just touched. Okay, so come in and we'll go with this. I don't know why I talk like a baby when I'm coloring animals. There we go. Cat tail. Okay, so can you see in here, you've got little bits of his um, body that are peeking out. So don't kind of miss those when you do your coloring, okay? So you've got them there. Super cute. Now, I have to say, I kind of love, I have trouble with my coloring and blending. Practice. It gets easier. Oh, Scarlett, I'm so glad you had a good day. Lukey seems happy too. I have fun sticking little pink noses on them. And then the only other thing we want to do here is with his little pumpkin. Yours is all going to be showing. It's not going to be like mine. Okay, and then I'm going to come in. I'm going to do the eyes, like, darkest. I was on a total blends binge with this. Like that. Give him this cute little thing. Okay, so as I said though, you're gonna make sure that your pumpkin is actually attached to your cat, not dangling midair. Mind you, it could be a, a haunted, I don't know. Okay, so now, next thing we've got, we have got our adorable little elephant. So I'm gonna come in with this one. And just because the background colors that I'm using with it, I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna go like that. And like that, and then he's got this little top part there. Okay, we're gonna go back to the light. And as I said before, fill it in first. Once it's filled in, now work on your blending. Bex, have you got that? Yeah. <laughs> I meant your blending. Are you liking my lessons? My niece thinks I'm whacked. Okay, next one. We are going back in with our basic gray. So come in here. And with your, make sure you're using basic gray and not basic black, because that's something else I would do. I make the blending look easy. But I, oh, yeah, you could cut another pumpkin, put a pop dot underneath you. Absolutely, we could have multiple pumpkins. Okay, so the blending, though, I promise, only got easy because I've been coloring so much this year. I've had so much fun. I'm not a color, colorer, colorer at all. I hate coloring, or I did as a child. Never liked it. Was not me. But these, I don't know, they work. They make it look pretty. So again, notice what I'm doing. Slapping in all my dark spots. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing crazy. Doot, doot. Okay. We'll go back in. And then you're going to grab your light one. And you're going to finish that whole elephant. A strange feeling. I'm going to go through many blends. Sorry, it's really hard. I can't... Um, I'm not looking at the screen. I'm sorry, you guys. If you say something, I'm coming, I promise. I just can't color and talk. I never thought about that. I could have done some pre-coloring for you. Do, 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 come on. There we go. There. Okay, so now, come in. Get rid of them. Adorable. I know, aren't they so cute, Cora? Like, I love. Okay, can you see that? Can you see how that line disappears? Add it in. I'm just going to go over him and you can start to see it. It just kind of works its way out, but you end up with dark still in those zones. There. Y'all good, baby? Show me. Um, yeah, sure. I will go down that way. Absolutely. It just was a bit tight. Yeah, for to go sideways? Yeah, there's no way. The poor kid. So I have all these Marys that she is cutting out for stamp -a stacks for the retreat on the weekend. But I've done them all on adhesive paper to make people's lives easier. Okay, you ready? Next thing we're going to do. Here we go. 
We need dimensionals. I have got them. Well, we'll see if I have enough. I don't have as many as I thought I did. So this guy's easy. We're going to take him. And he's just going to get three. It's like magic. It totally is like magic. Blends make non art non artsy non artistic oh joe you'll get your email this weekend okay we start it's the last thursday of um september or the last saturday of september depending on which one you come to which you're always my saturday girl okay now this one i'm just going to snail him he's going to go on to this one and bex do not stress if one gets wrecked it's not the end of the world okay there I have everything to make these except Highland Heather cardstock. Okay, so you need to add that to your list. Do you have your gorgeous grape though? Um, thank you, Marika, for sharing. Oh yeah, you guys remember sharing. Okay, so we need to um, remember when you share these from every now, every week from Wednesday to Wednesday, I will be um, drawing a winner who was uh, who was doing who shared the last week's video. And Natalie, I teach grade seven. I have sweet, adorable. Grade sevens. I know most people are like, really? They are. They're amazing. They're not, I have to admit, they're probably not as lovely to their parents at the age that I get them, but they're pretty amazing to their teacher. Okay, so I got this guy. I'm going to put you on here. I'm going to put this one up a little bit higher. I know it's not centered. Don't yell at me. Okay, and then our little elephant. We're going to put on here. So yeah, Kathy, use the gorgeous grape instead. It's okay. You don't have to have the exact color because I've used the gorgeous grape as a mat there for the, or the little scallop layer. Okay. So we're going to put this on here. Now, next thing I am going to do is each one of these is going to get stuck down on a card front. So we had this day today where, okay, so youngest one just started high school. High school here goes grade eight to grade 12. Um, so youngest one just started high school, oldest one going, or just went into grade nine, so second year. Um, and we don't have like, I know in the States you have like freshman year, sophomore year, we don't have that stuff. You're like in grade eight, you're in grade nine, you're in grade 10, like that's kind of how we roll. Um, so the little one, you know, comes in the door and he's flying and he's all jacked and he's super happy and he's like, I have no homework, I got everything done and the oldest one stomps into the house and he's super cheesed because he's got science homework and he's got English homework and I'm like, oh, good Lord. Okay, so put these guys down. Okay, now remember, as I was saying, if you missed it at the beginning, everyone who places an order this week using this hostess code, you're going to get the stuff to make this adorable little project. Like, I'm going to send you out all your bits. No, not sending you the stamp set. Oh my god, I know. Look at Layla so like you're coloring. I am coloring. Are you scared yet? Um, but you are going to get um, all the paper bits. Everything will be pre-cut and ready to go for you so that you can kind of make these up at home. So you want to make sure include the stamps in your um, what's it called? Include the stamps in your order because then you can, you'll be set to go. And then I'm going to send you all the little bits and make sure, like, keep a little list right now. Did I miss the backing? I did. Um, keep a little list right now of maybe the blends that jump out at you. You're so proud. I know, seriously. Can you imagine? Like, I never would have thought I would ever color live. Okay, so I got those. Sticking the last one on. Stick this one here. There. Okay. So there's the cards. Now these two I didn't put sentiments on. I just left them, and then they're not actually done. Just a second. We have it. It's on the table. I took it out. There it is. Because everything is better with a little bit of twine. Now the only one I didn't feel like I wanted twine on was the cat. I felt like he. I don't know. He was dark enough, and he had all his bits going on. <clears throat> so we're gonna come in here. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I've got the tickle. I was leaning. Okay, now, as I said before, with these, I definitely not mine first. I do not just go straight into bow tying because mine will pop open and I make a mess. Oh, no, somebody liked the I'm so proud. Oh, who was it? Somebody's like, yeah, seriously, we know you, Ange. This is not your forte. I know, but the blends, I don't feel like I'm inept at coloring anymore. Okay. Do you see difference? I know it's silly and I know it's something so small and twine is not expensive, uh, super easy, but it's an awesome little kind of finishing touch for your cards. So if you have, um, you know, if you're looking at your cards feeling a bit naked, 
never good to feel a bit naked. Um, I've had that first day of school dream so many times where I start teaching and realize I'm not dressed because that would not be horrifying for a grade seven. Um, but if your card's looking a bit na naked, can't even talk, then add a little bit of twine. See like this one to me, he looks naked, but watch. We're gonna slap this one on. Do, 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 do. And then I'm gonna show you the packaging idea I did. Now I'm not gonna get to make it for you because as I said to you, I am a bonehead. And I actually um, left my package of my pizza boxes at the lake. I know exactly where they are. I can tell you where they are. And I'm going to be able to get them when I drive up there tomorrow. But, and they will come out in your kits. You're just not going to get to see me make it. But I'm going to give you the idea of how I did it. Okay, finishing this last one. There we go. Okay, so these guys have got their cute little twine on now. Okay, so now what I want you to see is get this this is what i love look at the little box so this little box you will also get so this is one of our pizza boxes now if you miss this we have these adorable pizza boxes um in the stampin up catalog and they absolutely perfectly fit get this three by three note cards with coordinating envelopes so I just took my little thing and I stamped every one of these I didn't color these guys because you would see the color come through back here but you could feed a piece of paper in while you're coloring and then pull it out after so my little cat he's got his matching envelope and then we've got my little elephant got a matching envelope and then we've got my little birdie with a matching envelope and then the little dog okay so everybody fits in there all neat and cute and they package up. And I did make one more of my elephant for the front and kind of did it this way. Now, someone said to me, wait a minute, we don't have purple pizza boxes. No, we do not. But I am gonna show you how I made it. Now the pizza boxes have a different finish on them. So they're not, uh, this is a little bit glossier, but I'm, you're gonna get the idea. So I've just got Highland Heather ink pad. And as I said, you will get all the bits to do this. So you'll get your strip of DSP that goes around the outside. You'll get all your mats that go for there. You'll get your stitch shape circle and then your little punch there. So you'll have all the bits to do this. The box goes together super easy. So I'm using just one of our sponge brayers, okay? And I'm rolling it back and forth. And then I want you to watch this. We're just gonna come in. And I went over my pizza box and this is all I did. Now you can add as much or as little as you want. So you can kind of go back into areas where it's not as dark and you're gonna see that here. Like, can you see how it's kind of, it's spongy and cute and not all perfect? Okay, so you get that gorgeous kind of look. And if you think about this, you can make these boxes now to coordinate with anything. Do you like it when there's a dog hair stuck in it? Yes, huh. You too can have a pizza box with dog hair. I'll pass. Okay, so this is all I did to my pizza box. Now, some of you are going, well, wait a minute, I don't have a sponge brayer. You don't need to have a sponge brayer. If you have just a regular sponge, you can sponge the ink on, okay? And like, I'm talking, you can use your old kitchen sponges if you have one. Now, because this is a bit glossier, I would give this one a second or two to dry, but on the pizza boxes, they were dry, like they were dry instantly. It was awesome. But that's all I did to achieve that kind of look of it having the purple background. Okay, so as I said, just to clarify for this week, anyone placing their order this week using this week's hostess code, and that's the one you see down here, um, you are going to get a make and take pack and it is going to include everything you just saw today. So it'll have your little pizza box, it'll have all your bits, and it'll have all the stuff for your cards, your twine, you name it, all included. And then you just make sure you order whatever you kind of need to complete the project. Now you might have your own Halloween stamp set that you want to put on anyway, so go ahead and use that. But if you don't, I cannot recommend this one enough. He's so stinking cute. So I will see you all next Friday. Thank you so much for joining me today. I totally appreciate it. And it was a, remember, mark your calendars, uh, not Friday, next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Night.